Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel in a new card making video. It is time for another Lawn Fawn Fans video hop. Now normally we only do hops four times a year, once each season, but we wanted to celebrate and share ideas using the new High Five kit from Lawn Fawn. This kit I believe is done and sold out, but if you got your hands on one, here are some ideas for you from the Lawn Fawn Fans team. There are four of us that are going to share this kit with you today so let's jump in to making my card I'm starting with my background on a slimline panel so this panel is eight and a fourth by three and a fourth and I'm using the stencil from this kit to create a colorful background I'm gonna do rainbow <laughs> and I'm starting with coral berry ink and using a blending brush to really get a soft layer on my card and then I can easily blend that with my orange color which is orange cream now Speaking of starting my cards, I usually start my card with a sketch, sketching out all my ideas, and I thought you guys might find that helpful. So I threw that in there so you could see my sketch, but I didn't want to show you too close because I'm not good at drawing. This is why I stamp and stencil and die cut all my things. <laughs> so I'm moving on with yellow, and you can see for each of the stencilings, I'm using two colors at a time, and that way I can just work my way down my card, adding each of the colors in the rainbow. Um, I used bamboo green there, that's like my favorite green from Altenew, and now I'm using Aqualicious, and this is another of my favorite colors. I, I kind of gravitate towards the same colors in my collection of inks from them, and I believe this one is Hydrangea, so I'll list all the inks that I used for this card in the description box below so you can check them out if you're interested and here you can see what my little background is starting to look like because I'm gonna add more to it I wanted there to be um, a little bit of color on the edge because it just seems so stark white so I'm gonna go back with all of the same colors and dust on a little bit of color to the edge and it's just gonna make it a little bit more softer not so harsh white on the edge and it kind of just draws your eye in and sometimes when I'm making a background which by the way is my favorite part of card making I do feel like oh gosh it's so like it can be so much is it too busy but once you add all your elements on a lot of the things on your background are going to be covered up so I don't worry about that as much as I used to and one of those things I'm talking about worrying about is splatter so I always add a little bit more splatter than I normally do when I'm making a background again because a lot of it's going to be covered up I did this background with some sparkle silk from spellbinders now it's time to work on the other parts of my card so I used my Oliver's stitched ABCs I die cut them the words swarm and heart from some like golden yellow cardstock and black and layered them up now I'm going to work on the other parts of my sentiment. I do have a sub sentiment on this card that says you're sweet as honey that comes from that hive five stamp set and I'm going to stamp this with clear embossing ink and sprinkle on some white powder and emboss that. So here you can see that melt and it gets raised up and shiny and embossing is just one of those magical techniques that will never get old. <laughs> That's how I feel. So I'm gonna cut that with a grassy border. This is gonna go at the base of my card front for my little hive and flowers to sit in. So I wanted to kind of um, darken up the edge of this, so I just brought back that bamboo ink. It was already out of my desk. I probably could have gotten a shade darker, but it did the trick. So I'm gonna use this thanks, thanks, thanks set for the word you and my. I'm gonna have to do a little masking to get this how I want it. Um, but you can see if you look really close on my little strip, even when I set them down, it transferred the image. It stamped it a little bit. Um, I, it might have just been sticky, but even though I mask it here, that little stickiness did pick up my embossing powder. Even though I did my anti-static powder tool, it somehow the stickiness of the stamp itself left behind a bit of the image. So if that happens to you, don't fret. You don't necessarily have to throw it away. I have a nice little scraggly paintbrush that I use 
for such things and it helped. Now I can emboss this and I can still use it. So all is saved. Um, I did dust off my powder off this black cardstock with my little cloth, my microfiber cloth, and then I decided just to go ahead and cut this out with my scissors because they were so small. I felt like I could get it straight enough for my card, you know? So there we have you and my. So I'm just collecting and creating all the things I know I want to have on my card based on that sketch that I had done at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to do some three of the bees here and a flower and the beehive. So now I want to stamp more bees and another flower, but one of the bees has that little like party blower in his mouth. I masked that off when I stamped this. So I'm only going to have one of those bees and the other is just going to be a bee facing the other direction. I'll show you how I fix it up. So next I am coloring out my bee. I used Y35 and Y19 for his body. Now, for the bee itself, bumblebees, most bees of any kind, have black faces. So I'm using N7, N5, and N3 um, to color those out, and it does the trick. So here you can see me using my Sharpie marker um, to do his face, just draw it back in. Um, I didn't do a perfect job, but in the end, when it's all colored and die cut out, it doesn't look as wonky as I feel like it looks when I tried to draw it. So here you can see me coloring out my little hive. I used E13 as my darkest color. When you put it with darker yellows like that, it really adds like a golden touch that I just love. So I add E13 a lot when doing some golden kind of coloring. Next, I am doing the opening to the hive and using some E13 and E25. And next, it's time to move on to my flower Throw in a little bit of green here for the stem, and then I'm gonna color the flower as a sunflower so it will totally match my bees and my hive and all the things going on with my colored images. And I will do a touch of that E13 as well at the top of the flower just to really give it a shadow right under the center of the flower. And I love how these turned out. They're really easy to color and you could color them with different markers and make it um, maybe like a Gerber daisy. So a lot of fun you could have with that flower. Now I'm bringing out my white gel pen and adding highlights to all of my bees. I kind of debated on the highlight on the bee's body because I wanted them to look more um, fuzzy than shiny, but I just love a white highlight on all my things, so I went for it, and I'm not sad I did. <laughs> then I used my coordinating dies to die cut them out. Even the bee that I masked off, I used the die to cut it out. Then I can just cut away the part I don't need. It's a very easy trim, and now I have a bee facing the other direction that does not have the party blower. Then I just laid out all my things on my background where I wanted it so I could figure out if I had enough stuff, it was going to fit, how to put it, and then I glued everything down. All the bees are popped up with foam squares, and this is going to be mounted onto my 8.5 by 3.5 inch slimline card base. And now I'm adding on the glaze. This is some sparkle glaze that comes in the Hive 5 kit, and it's sparkly and it dries um, clear. So I wanted this to kind of have the feel of like honey dripping down on my letters. So that's what I used it for here, and I love the look. I just love it. So here I'll show you a close-up of what it looks like as I just put it on, and then at the end you can see how it dries, or right here. So because this says, you swarm my heart, I'm so penny. <laughs> I had to bring out some hearts to put on my card. So I picked two of every color, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and I'm gonna glue those on around my background by my bees. And these are a little bit translucent, these hearts right here. And that's really good because even if they don't exactly coordinate or match the color you have on your card, if you glue them down over the top of that color, it's gonna pick up some of that color from the background and really match. So like the green, the hearts were more minty colored and gluing them down on top of the green that I have there, it really helped them, you know, match my card. So I love these hearts. They're from Trinity Stamps. I will link them for you below. So if they pique your interest, you can check them out. All right, now let's move on to the inside of the card. I couldn't leave that blank. I am going to use my stencil and my inks again to make one honeycomb 
oh, is it a honey? Yeah, it's a honeycomb. <laughs> that is all of the rainbow colors. So all the colors I used on the front of the card, I'm bringing to the inside and creating a nice little accent on the inside. I think it's fun to carry the design over on the inside of the card, <clears throat> but I have to say, I'm probably guilty of not doing this very often, even though I really want to. So um, there are times when I push myself to do the little extra inside bit of the card. I thought it'd be fun to use the queen bee on the inside and the talk bubble. I love a talk bubble on a card. I don't know why. I love that. So I'm going to add the little trail that has the heart in it. And that is going to be right below where I glue the bee. And then I'll use the little talk bubble right beside her. So a nice fun accent to the inside of this card. And a slimline card has plenty of extra room to add something on the inside and still leave space for your personalized sentiment. So there is my card for the high five Lawn Fawn fans hop and we have giveaways on every single video. We are giving away the card we make in that video. I'm going to be drawing a name randomly from those of you who leave comments on this video and one of you will win this card and I will announce it one week from today right here on my YouTube channel and I will mail this card to you. So make sure you leave a comment, make sure you hop along and leave comments on the other three people doing this hop today. The link for the next stop is in the description box for you as well. I will see you all again very soon. Happy stamping. Bye.